Hello everyone, welcome back to the BG tutorials. Okay, after I think I hope that you have watched the previous two episodes, two or three lessons actually, uh, before watching this. Okay, it doesn't matter. We can start with this lesson as well because this covers the basic basics of routing in E framework. So as you, as I said earlier, E E follows the MVC architecture. MVC architecture is which is models, views, and controllers. So let's talk about how routing happens in G. Okay, as you can see this URL, there is this special, uh, not special word actually, this site and index. Okay, this site actually refers to the, this word actually refers to a controller in the G application. And this index refers to a view file in the frame, in the application that we created okay we'll take a look at those files okay you can see the controllers in uh go in the, go in the protected controllers and site controller okay this is a controller file all the requests that come all the requests that come through the url gets to a site controller uh, not site controller actually a controller in this occasion it's the site controller this is the default controller actually in uh, application when you create it this is the default controller so in this site controller we have actions action index actually this is a function that I created just for testing forget that okay, there is action index which is a function there is another action contact there is a login function action route okay what happens is when we type in this url this uh, the g application looks for this word first so the word is site so it goes to the site controller it goes here next after the forward slash it looks for action index so here's action index so we'll die here and check we'll die here you are you are in the action index okay let's see what happens okay you are in the action index now we know this url first calls this function in the site control so what happens after that after that this function calls a render function which is a built-in function in E and calls a view file called index in the E application in E application every controller has its own views folder so the site control has a sites folder in the views folder there is a site folder in this site folder there is a file index.php file that is the file that this function calls okay index so we'll change this actually we'll come in this out and echo site site controller and action index call we'll refresh and see what happens so the site controller and action index so uh, now we know this site controller calls this index function renders this index function render it's render render word word the re word render is a is that function what that function does is gets this file within this parameter and puts it out to the browser simple as that so now what we can here we can do some more other stuff we can call another view file from this action in this first we'll create another view file new php file uh, we'll name it demo.php file finish ok demo file ok now we call this demo file 
there is this demo file and we are going to call that file. This action is going to render that file, render, render in a sense, put that file into the browser, send that file to the browser. Oh, this is the demo file. Look at that is the basics of routing in in V. We haven't in we haven't gone into the model where a controller calls a model file and get some data from the database and then pass those data into the views file. That we'll cover in the next lesson. We are we'll create uh, we have already created model a user's module model so we can get some data from that model and we'll pass that data in the views file so stay tuned for that i'll see you next time thank you very much for watching bye bye